Welcome to this Terrasculpt 2 tutorial video by Dimension Media. Please note that the screen images and features may be slightly different for the release version that you are using. Terrasculptor incorporates a design and user interface style influenced by Adobe Photoshop and Autodesk 3D Studio Max. Height maps, masks and weight maps, which are all simply called data maps in Terrasculptor, are managed as floating point width by length objects, similar to high bit depth grayscale images. Modifiers or Photoshop-like filters of many different types can be applied to the data maps to adjust, modify or transform the data map in numerous ways. The main visual interface and the interface for most generators and modifiers is a 3D user interface similar to Max or Autodesk Maya or Blender. The main window is comprised of the following sections. The menu bar with drop down menus for file through help. The toolbar with buttons for many application functions. The toolbox with buttons for controlling the main viewport 3D camera and other features. The main 3D viewport which depicts a rendering of the data map as a terrain. The function panels which contain controls for setting and manipulating the camera, lights, grids, terrain and scene objects. And the status bar which contains information areas on the current application status as well as some of the data map properties. Typical dialogues that you may encounter in using Terrasculptor include both 2D and 3D preview dialogues and non-preview dialogues. A brief overview of the menus. The file menu contains items for managing the application project, opening and saving data map terrain files, and importing and exporting to other digital elevation model, height map, image, mask, and weight map file formats. The edit menu contains items for managing the undo stack and other editing features. The generate menu contains items for procedurally generating the main data map height map terrain. The extract menu contains items for extracting masks from the main data map height map terrain. The adjust, modify and transform menus contain items for modifying the main data map height map terrain. The modifiers are split into three groups based on their functionality adjust, modify and transform, with each group performing greater modification of the data map. The view menu contains items for toggling the 3D viewport widgets. The tools menu contains items for a number of application related tasks. The help menu contains items for obtaining application information and links to the Terrasculptor websites and resources. A brief overview of projects and terrains. A Terrasculptor project file contains the current main data map terrain, the current settings for the entire scene, and the current settings of all of the generators, extractors, and modifiers. It is necessary to create a new project even if you wish to open or import a terrain file. In this case, the dimensions of the new project are not relevant as they will be changed to the opened or imported terrain file values. A brief overview of workflow. On the File menu or toolbar, choose the New Project item. On the New Data Map dialog, click on the 512 button to create a 512 by 512 data map. You will now have a basic flat terrain in the main viewport. Let's now create some procedural terrain to make it more interesting. On the Generate menu, choose the Gradient Noise Map item. The Gradient Noise Map Generator dialog will appear. In the Noise Map Presets group at the top of the dialog, choose Plaster in the drop-down box. On the Function Panels, choose the Scene Objects panel and uncheck the Home Grid to hide it. If you have the Professional Edition, on the Transform menu, choose the Erosion Rain item. Apply the default erosion parameters. On the Main Toolbar, click on the Zoom Extents item to zoom out on the entire terrain. On the File menu, choose the Save Terrain As item, choose a Destination Folder and enter in a file name. On the Save TS Map File dialog, check the Compressed item so that the terrain file is saved with the smallest file size. You can now open this terrain file at any later date to further modify it or export it as a different file format for other purposes, including game engine use. That is the end of this tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, please be sure to visit the Terrasculptor online forums.